just say the underwater. Okay, y'all. So the first brand I'm gonna be showing you is Panache. There is a variety of sets that they sent me. One pieces, two pieces, and they are all underwired. So any of y'all that are looking for a little extra oomph in your swimsuit, extra support, this is definitely going to be the brand to check out. So let's go ahead and get started. You guys, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the very first swimsuit I have tried on and let me just say, the way it is hugging my body though, it looks so cute. This style is called Riviero, and I have her in a 34J, that is UK sizing. And let me just say, the underwire and everything how it fits is so comfortable. And I feel like it's super flattering on my stomach, it's making it look really really flat but one thing I do want to mention about this suit is trying to get it over my hips at first because there is underwire and the back is kind of all connected besides this little clamp it was a struggle so I just want to say if you are more of a pear shape with even wider hips than me um, it might be a little difficult to shimmy her on up but once I got past my hips, it was a breeze. I feel like this would be a good swimsuit that's pretty modest, but also super cute, say for like a family day. And it's not too sexy, but it still, you know, hugs all your curves. And honestly, I love everything about this besides the fact that it was pretty difficult to get on at first. But other than that, I think it looks really cute. Now, I was a little nervous about this set right here. Um, this one is from ASOS. The reason why I decided to give them a try is because in their swimsuit section, they have a fuller bust category. Now, I ordered this top in a 34G. Let me see, let me just double check. Um, yeah, so it's supposed to be fitting an American double D through G. It definitely has a lot of stretch to it. And honestly, I think it fits really nice. It's not perfect. There is a little bit of spillage if I turn to the side. You can see just a little bit, but I've seen <laughs> way worse at local stores here in America. So I think overall this fits very, very good. The bottoms, they don't have a lot of tummy control at all. Overall, the material's pretty thin, but I still think it looks flattering. And to be honest, I didn't even know what to expect for how this is gonna fit my body type. So, but overall, I think if you're looking for something to be a little bit more revealing, um, but still have that support, I think this definitely does the job. Another thing I do want to mention before I move on is it does not have any padding at all. So if you are self-cautious about your nipples showing, they're going to probably show once you get in that water. Um, you guys can follow me on Instagram. I think I might do an update when I actually do wear this in the pool and outside, get it wet and see how it holds up. But as for right now, I think this looks super freaking cute. <laughs> Okay guys, so this next set is the one I was like the most excited for. Um, and I got this one from ASOS as well, but I just, I'm, I'm really disappointed in how it fits. So um, before I show you the catastrophe of how this is, this is a little look at the sleeve detailing. It has these nice little ruffles and um, I don't know, it just doesn't fit how I how I thought. <laughs> okay, so I couldn't do a swimsuit haul without getting a yellow swimsuit. I was so excited to try this one on. It has these cute little ruffle detailings and it just didn't work out. Yes, technically I guess it does um, cover the girls, but it literally has zero support. I don't know what this is made out of, but it is way, way, way too stretchy. Um, the girls are looking a little 
sad. I think the main reason why there's literally zero support in this one is because the straps have no adjusting and they are super stretchy again yeah so I think if this strap was adjustable it would be better to be honest I don't want to pay for return shipping so I think what I might do is just customize it myself just so we can get that extra lift because right now it is just <laughs> it is just not happening okay so yeah, I think it needs to be more in this realm of fitting rather than that because this is just, it's just sad. I mean, it's super cute. I feel like I really wanted these ruffle sleeves to be a moment, but yeah, this, I guess this one, I don't even know. This one I'm going to have to do some work to. Okay guys, now this next suit I'm going to show you I got from Matt Swim. I've seen a lot of celebrities promoting them, specifically Jordan Woods. She literally would always share um, their swimsuits, so I decided why not give it a try. Let's see how the quality is and how it fits. Um, the main thing that helped me pull the trigger to even order from this brand is the fact that they shared a really busty girl in this same swimsuit I have, but it was just in a different color. So I was like, okay, let's go ahead and order it. I think that'll work, but brace yourself before <laughs> I show you guys what this looks like. I'm just warning you, it is very sexy very out there um okay so this next set is called echo and one thing that is different about her is the fact that she is indeed a halter top and i'm not gonna lie i was a little nervous when i realized she was a halter top because i've had some swimsuits in the past where they tie in the back and if you have heavy boobs it is not good it hurts the back of your neck but so far, this seems good. The band is wide enough where it's not digging in and it does have a little bit of give to it. And on the actual suit, it has this nice like 3D type of um, pattern to it. I don't even know what to call it, but it's like little triangles. And it looks really, really nice. The color on my skin tone, I am digging so much. I think it looks so cute. Okay guys, so this next set is called Ana Riva. I may totally be pronouncing that wrong, but this is what she looks like. One thing that I found interesting is this one is built with a special spandex that helps resist the effects of chlorine. So if you've ever had a swimsuit where it starts to feel brittle and dried out and just no good, um, this is supposed to help resist the effects of chlorine and help the swimsuit last a lot better. And honestly, I feel like for a two-piece, this is super cute. You can literally pair it with so many things. Now this is a closer look at how she's constructed in the front. Again, nice different paneling to help bring the girls in, lift them. And we have some nice little gold accents as well. Okay, so this next set is giving me a total pin-up sailor, nautical type of vibes, and her name is Lucille. Honestly, I really like this. For all my girls out there that want two pieces but don't want your tummy out, this is really nice, very flattering, these horizontal stripes. And again, it is going to be a full coverage brief as well. So I feel like this is very cute. I definitely love what they did with this navy blue and these little button accents. It just adds to that whole pinup type vibe and I'm here for it. Alright, so this last set that I have from Panache is called L and I am so obsessed with this pattern. I feel like it's really fun. It sets a totally different vibe. Definitely gives me nice like vacation type vibes out on the beach. 
And the fact that it has this nice braided straps, like I feel like that really adds a nice little touch. If you've seen my review for my Double D Plus lingerie, then you already know I just live for when Panache does nice little details that are different than the others. And this set also has that high flow technology, so you don't have to worry about this getting ruined by the chlorine or anything either. But yeah, that is it for all the Panache swimsuits. Now it is time to go on to the rain swim. Ooh! Serving you Baywatch realness in this Rain Swim Ashley bikini set. Now, Rain Swim is a smaller brand, but I reached out to them because I feel like what they are doing for the Fuller Bus community is freaking awesome. Now, their brand does serve F through K cups, so if you are an extremely busty woman, Rain Swim has got you covered. Now, the Ashley bikini set is non padded, but the support that it gives you is very, very nice and comfortable. This is a look at what the back of this suit looks like nice, thick bands, crisscross pattern, and you can see right here. It does have a traditional three hook. Now the top I got in a size large and the bottoms are a medium. And I do wanna say the bottoms do have really nice tummy control. Everything is nice and flat, sucked in, it looks really flattering, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable. And it also comes with this wide band underneath to help give you that extra support. Overall, I think this is super cute. Like I said, it's giving me major Baywatch running on sand type vibe. Again, shout out to Rain Swim if you guys want to check out this set along with many others from their brand, then I will leave them in the description box below as well. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is what this style looks like on. Honestly, I forgot the name of this, so I will pop it right on the screen. But I got this in a size extra large, and this is something I would wear like with my man out on a beach, like doing some some stuff. But um, yeah, it's really sexy and. I feel like it really would boost anybody's freaking confidence. I'm literally obsessed with the color and the pattern. I had to get something yellow to really pop. I really wanted something to work. And y'all already saw the other one. It, I'm gonna have to work with the other yellow swimsuit that I just showed you guys. But this one is super cute. The way that this string goes around and wraps around your body and ties, um, I feel like everything is kind of staying in place, but like I said, this is extremely sexy. Um, I don't know if I would call this fitting exactly correct. It, I mean, I'm not even bullshit, y'all. It doesn't really fit that well, but I mean, it's passable. You can totally get away with wearing this and having everybody looking at you left and right, okay? Okay, so this next suit I ordered off of Fashion Nova. This is a size extra large, it comes in a set, and I decided to go with something more sporty because I felt like this would definitely help control the girls, cover them up, but also give some lift. Now this material is pretty stretchy. There is plenty of room to fit the girls in and contain them. I've worn this a few times. If you have seen my behind the scenes quarantine shoot, then this is what I had on with the camo pants. So it's very versatile. You could totally wear it as an outfit if you wanted. Um, but I think this would be good for days where you're on the jet ski, you don't want a boob popping out, like they're gonna be contained and controlled. And for the many times that I have worn this, um, I've never had an issue with the zipper moving, coming up and down. 
Um, it does fully unzip, so you can set it to how you want it. You can do it lower, or you can go ahead and put it all the way up. But this is what this one looks like. I'm digging the neon accents. I feel like it really just makes everything pop. And this little belt detailing as well. It is attached to the bottom, so it's not gonna come off or slide up or down. It really kind of just stays in the same place but it does indeed come undone as well, so it is a real buckle. <laughs> Okay, so this last suit I got from Fashion Nova as well. It is this nice, bright, neon, two-piece, um, long sleeve. Overall, I think it is really cute. It definitely holds the girls in. However, my only issue with this set is the fact that it's not double-lined. It almost is like they have just scrap neon spandex left over and they just tried to make it work. Um, yeah, so definitely you could totally see through this even when it's not wet, so that's a really big issue for me, and honey, you don't even want to know what it looks like when it is wet, because it is completely see-through. Um, definitely there's no way to really wear this unless you, unless they double line it. That's my issue with it, is the fact that it's not double lined but other than that I like the style I just wish they would improve the construction of it there's no way I'm gonna really ever wear this out in public because honey they gonna be seeing everything 